Hi everybody, it's Arodo here. Uh, in this tutorial, I will do a video about how to do the plasticity and stability analysis of Eber Eberhardt and Russell. This was asked for me from Mr. K. I don't know if it's Russian or Ukrainian or somewhere near from it. He asked me, he sent me some data here. He asked me to show how to do that analysis. So let's do it. First, what I need to do is get his data. I already copied and I pasted it here in a folder I created. You can see data. All his data is here. For this analysis, the first column must be environment. The second is genotypes. The third is the replications. I assume it's a randomized blocks design because he didn't say me. And it's followed by as many variables, as many traits you measured or you want. So the file is ready to go to Genius. It's a .txt, it's a notepad file. So it's okay. Uh, I don't mind about this file the genius will create it for you. Now I have to come to genius. I have to set the path to say to genius where are my files. So I click it here and here I have to select the folder. It's user, Arodo, documents and uh, ka here. And I click in back and there is it. I set it set it up the path. Now all my files they will create and Genius will request it will come from and will go to this folder. Okay, now I have to do this analysis I must have a matrix of means and another matrix of residual covariance. How do I create it? I open the experimental statistics tab and here, the first, first choice is the, is the ANOVA, the variance analysis. I know my scheme is a factorial scheme. I select a simple factorial. AX B times B is my environment uh, plus, uh, times genotypes. I click on it. And here in data fail, I select my data. You can, as you can see, he was already set it to the folder of Mr. K or Miss K. I don't know. Now I have to set. In, I need to set the parameters of the analysis. Here we are. Number of variables. I have just one. Environments. I, three. I believe it's three. Uh, genotypes is four. Replications is three. I, I, it's three replications, yeah. Number, uh, nature of the model. I will put genotypes as random and the environments as fixed effects. No decomposition, no adjustments. This, this adjustment, I ask for it to cal calculate a new degree of freedom when I have a residual variance uh, uh, really different between environments or between experiments. So I just said it's zero. I, I will assume that. Now, if I had the name of the variables, I would put it here. Like I could put weight or height or whatever you, you want to put, I'll just let like it is. And now I have to take, to take the model. I'll take the second mo model because there is block on it. I don't know which model I must take because the, I don't know the, the experiment. I'll click on it and there is my ANOVA for that variable one. 
XD Anova, Dinet Parameters, and so forth. Ok, if I click here, it will export automatically to Microsoft Word. Here, I don't want it now, I just need to see the degree of freedom of the error, 22, ok. I won't save it. Now, when I leave, it will ask me which files I want to keep. The error, I just ne have to see in the end, it's like cre.dat. It's like data, I believe. I don't know. And the other one is genotype. Here in the means, I wanted the genotype times environments. In the end, it's mga.dat. And I have to click in process. As I can see in the folder, now I have those two files, MGA and CRE. MGA is the means, CRE are the residual covariance, the error covariance. Okay, I'm done here. I can close it. I got what I need from the ANOVA. Now I go to biometrics, biometry, and here. Estabilidade e adaptabilidade, which means plasticity and stability. I come here, based in regression, because we know this method is based in, is like a regression. And here we are. I chose my, which file I need, which is the means, genotyping environment means, mga.data. Okay. I have to set again my parameters. And here, ms residual is the mean square residual. Here is the, the our covariance, error covariance matrix. We click in that folder and we just see if we are in the right place. Yes, we are. And I choose this file, okay? And open, there is it. Here we go. I have to set the other parameters. I didn't say in the last window, but if I click this hand, the program will read your file and will fill this up like automatically. I just need to see, say here, number of replication because he doesn't know. He cannot find it in, a, in this matrix and either this. And I have to say, that's why I said you, you must remember this. 22 de residual degrees of freedom. All set. I can set the name of my variables like I did in the last analysis in the ANOVA. And now I just have to select Eberhardt in Russia procedure here. Okay, here we are. We have, he shows you a table of the means of your genotypes, the overall mean means of your environment and the index he calculates for this analysis this this index if I'm not wrong it's like the codification of the means this means is this value minus the mean of those three values and he find the index and here there is a, the ANOVA with all you need to understand this analysis. I won't be long on this. I, I, can, I can explain to you if you want, guys, in the next video. This one's already been a long one. Here is the adaptability parameters, which is beta one. It's the inclination of the, the line. The t-test to see it's weak equal one and the p-value to see the probability of it. Okay. And here is your estimative, estimative of stability. Uh, one thing. What I'm calling adapt adaptability is the plasticity. And here I can see the variance of the error, probability of it, and the determination coefficient, which I can make the interpretations of stability. 
I can export to Word as well. I won't save it. And if I close this here, it will show the graphic analysis. It will plot my genotype here. You can see genotype 1, the three environments, genotype 2, and I put click here, Eberhardt, filling. Here is it, genotype 3, genotype 4. And clean, clean screen. If I set no, that's re really useful. I can have all my genotypes in the same plot. Here's the models, pretty blurry, but it's okay. And here I could set the variable, but I have just one. Okay, guys, that's it. I believe that's all you need to know to do this analysis. The rest is just your interpretation of it. And thank you very much, and I'll see you again in the next video. Send me your request, and I will do it as soon as I can. Bye.